Hi guys, so I'm here with my 1995 Chevy Blazer and um, I just wanted to make a video because I finally found out why uh, my engine was running really rough. Um, I was getting a uh, really rough idle at, at uh, especially low RPMs, um, cleaned up a little bit at higher RPMs but was very rough down low, um, almost to the point of stalling sometimes. I was also getting a PO305 check engine light for a cylinder 5 misfire. So one of the cylinders is misfiring and I was also getting a check engine code for a uh, it was a system running too rich. So I figured it was something with the fuel injector and I ended up finding out the issue and it's pretty obscure. And um, I just wanted to make a video um, so hopefully this helps somebody along the way. Okay guys, so I already got the uh, intake manifold plenum removed and um, getting this guys off is a pretty simple job. It's really just a matter of uh, taking out these uh, plenum bolts here. Um, there's maybe six or ten of them I want to say. Um, around the sides, there's a couple here in the center. Um, and uh, just unplugging these um, sensors and the throttle and uh, cruise control cable there. Um, so once you get all that off, you're good to go. Um, obviously in the new gasket, um, putting it back together. But anyway, um, inside on the 95 and older models, you'll see this um, older style. Let's see if I can get it focused there. Um, a spider, CPI spider injector. And um, you'll notice that it sits sort of horizontally. The newer ones sit um, more front to back with the, uh, you'll see the fuel pressure regulator on the back side right here and they, they stand up a bit more. So this is the older CPI model that was replaced in 96. And um, so it just kind of pulls out right here. There's just a data cable. Um, let me get that off. And uh, so I've already unplugged the fuel return and the fuel in lines. And so he, is, once you get these little poppets pulled out, um, this guy's just gonna slide out just like this. And uh, what I noticed was when I uh, still had the fuel lines plugged in. Um, I pulled out each, or I pulled out the the fifth cylinder poppet, which is this one here, um, and had somebody turn on the key in the car, not to try and start it, but just on so that the fuel pump ran. And I noticed that um, when the fuel injector was pressurized, um, this poppet immediately began leaking, and it drained off the rest of the pressure um, directly without even trying to start the car or anything like that. So um, my first suspect was that this poppet was uh, blocked or clogged open because those can sometimes tend to do that. Um, but uh, I actually took off these cables and it's pretty simple to do that. You just need a security bit down here, um, take off that plate and these uh, three spider limbs will just kind of pop right out and um, cleaned it out with some, some cleaner and pressurized air through there. Um, and that ended up not being the solution. We put it back together and um, turned the key again after getting it all wired up and this guy was still leaking. And so um, I just opened it up today to find something interesting. And so this right here is basically um, what receives the signal to um, fire the injectors. And um, it's real simple to take off. It's the same bit as those side plates here. Um, so I'll take that off in just a second and show you what I found inside. Okay, and just one more time. So the, the bit that you're gonna want for this is, uh, it's a small security bit, but it does have the dimple in the center. Um, so if you don't have that, you're gonna wanna go and get that at an auto parts store or something. Um, all, the, all of the screws on this unit um, are that uh, type of screw. You can see the dimple um, right there. So uh, let me just take that off real quick. So I now have that uh, plate removed off the top of the fuel injector. And this guy will just slide right out of there. It's got an O-ring and a um, kind of a plastic washer, so just be careful taking that out. I'll put it somewhere where it won't get dirty. Um, and down in here is where I actually found my problem. And so, probably a bit hard to see with the lighting, but if you see down in there, there is actually a um, an O-ring that has six, you know, holes in it. And it looks just like, uh, you know, um, those plastic can holders for beer and soda. Um, but if you look really closely, that top, that one on the top right is actually snapped. Um, the O-ring is broken. 
And if you'll notice, that is the injector that, or the poppet valve that goes back to my fifth cylinder. And so that O-ring was not holding a seal for that cylinder, and that is exactly where all of my um, unwanted fuel was getting in. So um, hopefully I can find this little tiny O-ring set and um, um, be able to replace that and get it running again without having to buy another $250 uh, rebuild injector because um, that's what uh, how much these run. So I'll pull this out real quick just so you can look at it. Um, but this guy right here is just a little O-ring, sits down in there and um, seats up against those six injector ports right there on this guy. Um, so yeah, that was uh, my issue, is this little broken O-ring right here. So if you're uh, trying to figure out why your poppet is leaking and you cleaned it out and uh, that wasn't the issue, um, give this a shot and see if you got any issues with uh, this O-ring. Thanks.